Asante, Dugu Gavana. Let me first of all begin from where you left. Kuna watu wengine watauliza mbona mkonda busia. And I know it's a critical question. Let me explain it. We invited the leadership of Busia and the affected uh, uh, people for only one simple reason, because we needed to have a conversation largely with other important stakeholders such as the feed manufacturers, researchers, and uh, other agencies that were very critical on planning uh, on our way forward. And uh, obviously, we were getting a lot of support from private sector, and it was proving difficult to mobilize the private sector who are running industries to go with us to Busia. And that's why we invited and facilitated that uh, the people of Busia come here. <coughs> now let me tell you what we have discussed. Number one, ikitu ya samaki, like the way governor has said here, it is uh, an important conversation that we must have going forward. Number one, people have diversified on means of catching the, uh, the fish, particularly in the lake areas. And for obvious reasons, there are number one is security issues or harassment issues. Then there's also issues of safety and other, what do you call it, hatari hatari, and by we lose so many lives of, in the lake over the period. So the residents of that area diversified means and ways of ensuring they have enough catch to sustain their lives. And they introduced what we call caged fishing. Now, this upwelling conversation is not the first to happen. If you remember, about last year, <coughs> it happened in other parts of, uh, of the lake, where we lost equally the same number of, of fish or even greater. So what we had wanted to do today here is to have a conversation on what it is that we need to do so that we can sustain uh, this kind of uh, investment on behalf of the people, for the people. Number one, our researchers have informed us there may be issues of placements. And by to me, I've directed here today the institutions in my ministry will have to go to the ground and work with county governments and CBOs and cooperatives at the Mashinani level so that they help them to design the cages that can stand uh, extreme weather and this thing called apueli. Kuna watu wengine mwuliza apueli ndi nini? Apueli ni kwa kiswahili ni kifupi sana. Yani maji ya chini ya kutoka kuja juu ambaye napunguza pumzi za samaki. Ni kama wewe sasa ukienda baharini, utoke juu, ukienda chini, pumzi zako zinapungua. In the opposite, kwa samaki nafanyika hivu. Na yekija juu, pumzi za samaki zinakuwa chache. And then they end up dying. So, our researchers have informed us, there are mitigations that can be put in place. And that's why I directed here today, what were in the ground, wapange hawa wafugaji wa samaki, kwanjia ya kueleeka, wapawe training, and we have agreed with the Council of Governors through His Excellency Honorable Otuoma that we shall have an engagement from Tuesday going forward so that we plan it well. Ata apuele ngikuja siku ingine, samaki wasipote. Tumepatana pa kapo. Then the other thing is because of the trajectory ya hii biyashara mbeo tumeyona kwa muda, I am sure if it continues Within a year or two, Kenya will have the capacity to export a lot of fish. Because if this area alone, you talked about 300 plus cages, this one alone, and Kisumu is doing, uh, Homa Bay is doing, CI is doing, Migori is doing, and therefore we are going to create a huge market that contributes, number one, to our food security, number two, job uh, creation, and wealth creation. So therefore, we're largely talking about economic progression. And even cost. And for the people. And even the cost of the food. So therefore, na pia pwani, even in the coastal region. Coastal region, you know, 
uvuvi no ufugaji wa samaki kwa bahari na kwa kwa lake of course and this is what we want to introduce even in lake lake uh, Turkana and other places and even lake Baringo Be, even in the interland because we have a, as a ministry institutions that are creating Arteries and you know wanting to produce more fingerlings that we can feed into the into the communities. Finally, is that uh, the other reason as to why we had asked our brothers from Busia to come to Nairobi is because we had mobilized private sector to contribute. Uh, you know, if you go to someone who you are asking, resources. Naweza kuwa ngumu. Yule kama huyu mdosi hapa ameongea hapa. Tuliongea na hawa wametupatia fish feeds. Total pamoja na wale ambao hao kwa hapa 2.5 million worth of fish feed. Ambazo mnaziona ndio hizi. And then the ministry will provide half a million fingerlings to the affected people after guiding them on how to place the cages. We will give them half a million fingerlings. And then we've also negotiated a discounted price going, going forward. For this, these affected people, we've negotiated a discounted price to try and bring them back to track. And to Arulishe Pale, Walipokuwa Kuendele Ambele. Governor is giving 7 million. And I'm grateful my governor and my brother, Governor Otoma, has also committed not only to provide resources, but also to work with us going forward. Initially, there had been a bit of issues. Governors, the national, national government, county government w were, you know, seen like they were competing for space. The lake is so vast. The opportunities are too many. Uh, our people, wale wale. So therefore, there's no reason as to why we can compete for anything rather than coordinate, cooperate, and ensure we complement one another. So therefore, I want to say that we are here to assure the Kenyan people that how Ndugizetu Ambe wame pata hum kasa we will do whatever we can to ensure we put them back on track. And I informed the governor that uh, the landing sites, we had, we had the two landing sites, the one in Mukoba, governor here to Maliza. We need to come and hand it over to you and uh, the fisher folk and, and the community so that we can agree on uh, when we can do it, because in Asia. The next one is that we have agreed with the uh, with governor here that uh, we will look at the designs we have proposed or we had proposed on building another landing site in Bombe. So we are consulting on the designs with the county government and the stakeholders. And the uh, governor, I want to report to you that we have uh, about 150 million that we've set aside ready to go to the ground. And therefore, I'm anticipating by say January mid we should be able to break ground and I have asked my consultants had informed me that uh, construction period will be about 9 to 12 months and I said landing sites I have given them six months to seven months to eight months so I'm hoping after January when we break ground by August we should uh, we should uh, hand it over to the county for for the people to benefit Nimalizia hapo ni sema asanteni na sincerely apologize for for keeping you guys waiting. We really didn't mean to. Tusamehe? I'm going to stuck kusamehe watu. Kuna swali? Yeah. Kwa 